Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in to what's going to be a quick little video about SPF that you apply over your makeup. As we've gotten into the warmer months, spring, summer, I'm personally always a little bit more conscious of how I treat my skin before I actually go out in the sun because I'm spending a lot more time out there. And the one thing about SPF, well there are a lot of things about SPF, but one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is it's not a one and done sort of product. You apply it and then you actually need to continue to reapply it over two hours. So something that I've struggled with is how to do that over your face, especially when you are a makeup lover. And so I have been trying three different products, two sprays and one powder, giving them a little try, understand how they differ. And I'm gonna be talking about them today to talk about the different ways that you can apply SPF to your face and then layer it up over your makeup in case you wanna go to the beach and you aren't giving up your makeup. Or if you know that you're gonna be outside all day at a theme park or just shopping around and it's a scorcher and you're sweating and you know that your SPF is coming off along with it, these are a couple different ways that you can reapply it to make sure that you're staying sun safe all over. Ay, my hair is a hot mess today. Okay, that's besides the point. Let's first talk about the sprays because the first spray that I ever try, and I talked about this maybe over, over a year ago, maybe a year ago probably a year and a half ago. That doesn't make a difference. Basically, that is to say this wasn't my first time at an SPF setting spray rodeo because I had been using this for about a year and a half. It's the Super Goop Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary. Has an SPF of 50 and it says it's a matte finish, three in one, sets makeup, controls oil, and delivers UV photo aging protection. Had been using this for a while, but in the videos that I mentioned it, a couple of you had also brought up the Kula Makeup Setting Spray. This has an SPF of 30, and it has green tea and aloe in it. So when you talk about both of these today, um, first of which is the Super Goop, Su Super Goop, the words today, people. The Super Goop is very refreshing. It definitely has a stronger rosemary scent to it. Not um, synthetic smelling, not overwhelming, I don't think, but it's definitely there. But one aspect of this that I thought I just kind of had to live with was the fact that it would kind of get caught. It's like a larger, the spray out of here produces kind of larger droplets and they would get stuck in my like very fine peach fuzz hair around my skin and I found that you could tell over makeup. So even though the point of this is to set it, you know, you spray it over your makeup, it sets it at the beginning of the day and you can continue to apply it and it not only continues to set and prolong the wear of your makeup, but it also adds that protection. It didn't really matter if I had all of these like baby fine droplet kind of like texture around the peach fuzz on my face. But it was something I thought I had to live with, so I'd spray it all, all over my face and then kind of take my fingers and like gently pat it in in those areas. Sometimes there was makeup disturbance depending on what I was wearing underneath, but it wasn't a perfect product. So then about must have been a month and a half ago on a recent Sephora purchase, let's get real, it's sometimes there are too many to count. But I finally got the spray a lot of you had recommended to me, which was the Kula. And this, I have to say, performs a lot, lot better. I'm not sure if it's the formula or if it's just the difference in mister. I don't know if you can see here. I mean, they are definitely, this is kind of a standard pump, whereas this is something, something a little bit different going on with the Super Goop. But the spray here is a little bit finer. And as a result, I find it acts more like a true setting spray where I can just set it all over my face. And it might give my skin a temporary glow, but it dries down very quickly. It it sinks immediately into my skin and it actually does leave my skin protected. Both of these products do. I want I mean the Super Group and the Kula I have been using a lot on the beach in hot weather, neither of which have let me down to the protection department. It's just how it lays over your makeup. And from that perspective, the Kula definitely wins. Then the other product I've tested and want to talk about is again from Super Group, and this is the Invincible Setting Powder. It um, says 100% mineral and sweat resistant, and this has an SPF of 45. This comes in two pieces. It comes with like a powder cartridge and then you put it into what is this brush dispenser. It's one of those where you press the bottom, the brush comes up, and you actually have to press it all the way to the top for it to lock in place and actually dispense the product. But then you just turn this bottom to retract the brush and it makes it for super easy, stow and go, great for airline travel if you don't wanna have to pack a lot in your liquids bag or you don't wanna check a bag. This would be good in lieu of those two other setting sprays I talked about. However, this definitely leaves a white cast. It's a little bit harder to control than a setting spray and definitely leaves more of a white cast over the face and is going to give you a little bit more of a flashback. Additionally, 
I found that when I applied it over my makeup, it made the coverage appear heavier. I mean, it says it's a setting spray and I would, or a setting powder, and I would say it's very much that in a coverage sense as well, because I apply it over top and it kind of takes away any excess shine, which is great if you are oily. It's great if you want to take this throughout the day and like in lieu of a, a blotting paper, just apply this over top. You not only get your sun protection and it also is crazy good at taking away that excess shine, but if you are layering it over something like a highlight, like today I was wearing a pretty extreme highlight and it definitely took it down a notch or five, I will say. And not just highlight, but you'll see, I think with like contour and blush, it definitely took that, that down a notch too. So if you are using this, I will say be prepared to get the appearance of a little bit more coverage or maybe it's a little bit more of a heavier matte finish in addition to taking some of that pigment out of the products you're already wearing. All that said, again, still a really effective SPF, just kind of a difference in application and wear between the two. So something to consider if you are thinking about getting a powder versus a setting spray and what that might mean for you in terms of travel and reapplication and things like that. Not a bad alternative, just something to be aware of. So to sum up, I would say that I recommend the Kula setting spray and the Super Goop setting powder, just so long as you know the differences and what it might do when you apply it over your makeup. So that's it from me, guys. Hope this video was helpful. I know I have been looking for a solution for this for quite a long time, so just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions on the three products that I had tried that could get the job done. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.